Hi, my name is Cherie Smith from Laptop Magazine, and this is the Pantech Element Tablet. A few things about this tablet, 8 inches, uh, it's currently retailing on AT&T for $299 with a two-year plan, but if you bundle it with the Pantech Burst phone, you can get the whole package for $249. So, aside from the 8-inch screen, we've got a few nifty things. Uh, we've got a a mini U, uh, H, HDMI port, micro USB, and we also have a SIM card slot and a micro SD slot. Another port cover for the headphone jack. So you're probably asking yourself, why are there all these port covers? Good question. The Pantech Element tablet is actually waterproof. So what that means is that it can be submerged for up to a half hour in a meter of water. So it's not designed for underwater use. It's not designed for scuba diving or anything of that nature. But if you want to use it poolside or something like that and it accidentally falls in the, into the water, you'll, you'll probably be okay provided that these port covers are closed. So as you can see, the tablet is running honeycomb. So you've got your standard five screens. But we're not here for the apps and all the cool stuff. We're actually here to test out the waterproof element. So I'm actually going to turn the tablet off really quickly. So it's shutting down. And here I have a bowl and I have a big jar of water. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off uh, just pouring, so pouring some water over the ports and seeing how it holds up. So we are... So here we go. So it looks like the seal is pretty tight. It doesn't look like anything seeped in, but just the to... Okay. So I'm gonna wipe it off, get any of that excess water off just in case, because the tablet is only waterproof if, it do, if the water does not penetrate the port covers. So you can't, you can't expect to drop this in water and then turn it on and pop open a, a port cover without getting all that excess water off because it will go into the tablet and it will malfunction. So as you can see, we're fine. We're turning on. So let's kick things up a notch, shall we? So we're turning it on. Okay, and it's on. A cord. Of course, you won't be able to. You won't be able to use the screen underwater. But it's good to see that it does work. And if God forbid I was in the pool or I was in the shallow in the pool and I dropped it, I could just dive in, pick it up, shake it off. Wipe it down. Oop. And it's still a little wet. Oop. And there we go.